Who the fuck is this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Moonlighter Between Dimensions. I am Nedermite and today I will get myself killed numerous times because we are about to go back to the dungeon. Though, keep in mind, if you'll be playing this DLC, you will get your ass kicked. Like, a lot. Well, exactly, because, um, let me put it this way. Apparently the new dungeon has around, I think, seven levels. But the problem is that the weaponry that you have from the last dungeon, from the base game, is basically nothing. You'll be able to maybe get through the first or second dungeon. The third one is gonna be a pain in the ass. That's how the game apparently works right now. Just to give you, like, a basic idea. At the moment, my spear, the spear that I have beaten the game with, uh, makes damage of 400, right? And the first spear from the newest dungeon is making 620 damage right from the bat. So I actually need to get a better weapon from this thing. So I got a better weapon uh, and I need to get like one of those, I think, chest boards or iron plates or whatever that thing is. And I'll be able to get myself the second level of the weapon. Uh, the fun thing about it is that the basic weapon from the newest dungeon is 620 and the second level is almost 1000 already. The third level is 1500, 2300 and the final one without any other entrance is almost 405, uh, 4500 damage, right? So that should help me quite a lot. Now I could try to enchant this thing but let's actually see how the based weapon will do. I just have to throw back my spear to to my shop because in just in case if I lose it, I prefer not to lose a weapon that actually is like really helpful in this attack game. Okay, do I have even like a... F oh, I don't have... Yes, yes, I know, I have a lot of items, shut up. <laughs> Alright, you got the new potions, we got the new spear, let's go. And welcome back to the Wanderer dungeon. I'm guessing that the Wanderer is actually the guy that was chasing you back in the base game. Oh, this is actually some nice damage. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. I think we can actually we'll be able to do a lot of damage with this one. Alright, one guy down. Yep. Yep, I'm I'm starting to see that this weapon is actually gonna be very helpful. Uh so yeah, also I have found out exactly what the other currency uh in Moonlighter is doing. Like because if you have noticed underneath my gold I have like those green slime thingies. I thought that that's like an item for crafting new potions. No, that thing is... Ouch! Okay, no, maybe I should actually like focus on the game itself. That thing acts as a new currency. Uh, the currency that you can use, I think, between... In a shop between every three levels. Three or two levels, something like that. So basically there's like a bunch of uh, NPCs over there. Ow! Bunch of NPC. Ouch! Okay, you need to kill this guy really quick because he just loves to grab the item and digest them into something completely bloody as useless. So, I think every two levels, there's like this shop that uses this slime thing as a currency. And, for example, you can open yourself a two-way portal back to, to the shop. Now, you're probably like thinking, but you have just the medallion, you can use the medallion all the time. Uh, no. It turns out that the medallion is uh, worthless in the between dimensions. So, in other words, right now I have no means of getting back to my shop. I can just go back with the, like with the necklace, but if I do, then I'm gonna use this secondary currency and I think there's like some other drawbacks because of that, so. Yeah, and also I'm taking a lot of damage because I'm trying to commentate, so. Yeah, that's like a thing. You know, oh, oh nice, a swimming pool. Hmm, lovely. I needed like a bra Oh no, I hate this guy. Oop. He has like the most annoying attack in attack. Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> that was quick. Alright, but still, we need to find the playthings to upgrade the weapon one more time. Uh, and yeah, another thing is that... Like, I thought that we're gonna get like a bunch of new items. The thing is that, instead of like getting only the new items, what I'm getting is... Uh, the items from the previous dungeons, which are worth basically nothing. And then sometimes, like one third of the loot I get normally is actually... Uh, are actually the items from the Between Dimension uh, dungeon. 
the items that are used to upgrade weapons and actually sell like for like a good price. So this is a one-way teleporter. Um, if I'm gonna use the merchant pendant, then I can also go like one way in, one way out actually. But I think this is the moment where I'm gonna lose the currency that is supposed to be used on the traders in the actual dungeon. So if you're gonna use this thing, then you won't lose anything. I think this is how the game actually like supposed to work. I'm not exactly sure. I went through the dungeon like I think two times, maybe three times. And I used that portal once and it just disappeared after using it. So yeah, oh no. It's the bloody ass plant again. Yeah, you have to really look out because this bastard can, can grab items that you have in your inventory and he's gonna digest them into something completely ouch useless. I think there's like a time limit that you have to kill him before he's gonna do that thing. Oh. <laughs> Stupid ass mushrooms. You know, I have to give to the devs. Instead of like making new enemies, they just took the enemies from the previous dungeons, buffed them up a little tiny bit, and then combined them with other mobs, with other monsters. Like... From one side, this is super lazy. From other side, it actually gives you like a completely new challenge. Okay, what's this? Scavenging clock, then. I gave them everything, gave them my life. All those years working on this machine to rip the spawns of others. And they just abandoned me. I am left to my own fate alone. Hmm. I kinda like wonder if this guy is supposed to be the last boss. So we gonna maybe find out very soon. I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh oh. Ah, shit. Not this guy. Yeah, 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 caustic, I know, I know. You just have to fart through the entirety of the room, don't you? Yeah. And yes, if you're gonna question it, the spear is still the best weapon in the entire game, at least for me. Because it has range. Do you see that twig that have just dropped from that monster? That's like the weakest item in the entire game. It's like, it's worth like, what, five coins? This thing here, it's a root. It's, it's worth like literally five coins or something like that. Ah, oh. good to know, game, that you're actually treating me like a piece of shit. And now I don't have uh, space to throw the rest of those items around, so I have to do something like this. Throw those items around. You know, by by this moment, you would probably think that devs would give the player like a fast sorting tool, so that the game will automatically sort the items to the best of this ability. But no, it's just putting items on the random, like, oh shit, on the random completely places. It's a bit annoying, a little tiny bit. Ow, shit, son of a bitch, get back here. How dare you throw fireballs at my beautiful armor. Okay, right, north or west, let's go north. Yeah, great choice, Neo. yeah, I know. Oh shit, ow, shit, poison. That poison is really fucking strong! Try to avoid it! <laughs> Don't breathe too deeply, Will! <laughs> it stinks of old eggs! Okay, right. Not exactly sure what those mushrooms are supposed to be for. I didn't have any crafting items from it yet. Oh, finally, this guy. Okay, this guy is actually the target I was looking for because he can drop the plating that I need. Hmm, yeah, well. As I said, he can. I didn't say he will drop. That's like another thing, apparently. Lovely. Okay, yeah. Yeah, keep combining enemies from different dungeons, man. <laughs> I fought through all of them, and if you really think I'm gonna get surprised by neither of those, then you're in a grave mistake. And this mistake will cost you your life. And this is the merchant's shop I was talking about, so... With this guy you can buy potions, right? For like they're actually quite cheap and you have to pay with the with the currency. This guy uh, This guy can I think he can make you a two-way portal. It's gonna cost you like an arm and a leg But you're like, you know, like if you're a fool then probably that's a good idea to take him and then this guy is selling um, I'm not exactly sure is he like selling a weapon or Yeah, he sold me a weapon Ah, and this weapon will disappear. Uh, artifact will disappear when uh, exiting the dungeon. So you can get from him like a weapon from the older dungeons that will just get buffed by the between dimensional portal. 
But then again, I'm not using swords. I swords are like completely not my thing. And if you're gonna sell it, you're gonna basically get some like scrap. So I'm not exactly sure what's the purpose of this guy. Like if he'll be selling like one at a time item that actually would be like really powerful, then maybe oh shit. Hello, how are you? Ah crap, I forgot to equip my healing potions! Shit, that's not good. Ah crap. Now the thing is that uh I think you have to bring him blueprints. I defeated the skeleton and I got this thing. Right, so if I understand this thing correctly, not enough resources. So if, if I will have more resources, I could try to give him this thing and then he would give me the possibility to, to grab this item. Which is like probably really great. But then again, I now, right now I need to get healing potions. So dude, if you could be some kind and actually uh, give me like a few. Uh, I think I'm gonna need three more. There we go. Okay, paying like a bunch of money, but I got five potions back, so we can continue exploring the dungeon. Next pack of that, this is still the good old Moonlighter boy! <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, hmm. Yeah. This good old Moonlighter where we get a bunch of damage! Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's really good that I got this ring that has a chance to instantly kill any enemy. Expect for the bosses. Like, it helps a lot. Holy shit, man. Oh, a potion, thank you. It helps you, like, really a lot. Ooh, a golden chest. Ooh, I want the golden chest. The golden chest is always something good. And I'm kinda, like, hoping for items that will allow me to upgrade the weapon even more. Okay, I don't know why the game freezes for, like, from time to time. Yep! Now, what is this guy? Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> You think you're smart. Yet I am smarter because I can use coverage, you idiot. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Nice ramming maneuvers, boy. <laughs> come on, ram me. Come on, come on, come on. Good job. Good boy. <laughs> and you died. Like a piece of shit that you are. Alright. Hmm. Well, those items are worth a lot. But... Yeah. Uh, must be placed at the top or bottom of the back. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Alright, those items are fragile, but I got two items that can remove curses. So you have to just put the items around the proper way. So you put those things around. Beautiful. Okay, put this thing here. Okay, one curse removed. And now grab this thing and remove the other curse. So the item will no longer be fragile and I'll be able to take damage, which I'm taking already quite a lot. And I won't lose the said item. Okay, I need to get rid of something. Hmm. I really want to return this blueprint to the forger back at the at the shop later on. Because maybe actually I'll be able to use this weapon. Oh, shit. Maybe I actually will be able to use this weapon like later on. Maybe this thing will be useful. I don't know. You're gonna see. And now that the flying enemy. Come on. Come on, charge with me. Thank you. Finally, Jesus, thank Christ. Really, you're still alive? Ugh. I'm just guy. Like, to be honest, with Moonlighter, this is the thing. You just have to understand the pattern. Just like in, let's say, Bindings of Isaac. Once you understand the pattern, the game is... Um, maybe not easy, but... Like, it will allow you to dodge a lot of the damage. So, for example, don't attack this guy when he has his fists. Because if he does, then you could you could get electrocuted, so you have to wait for him to actually shoot it. Stop. Oh shit, not this thing again. This flower over here in the middle, it needs to die, like, the fastest way. Because it's gonna take your items. And I really- uh, and he just took something from me. He took this most expensive stuff! Oh, you son of a- <sighs> As I was saying, I fucking hate this bloody ass plant. Yeah, he took the most expensive item I had in my inventory. And he gave me this. Oh, how do I fucking hate plants? Right, level 4. Still going with the same weapon. Shit. And damage is... Okay, the next thing to upgrade... No, I think I'm gonna still upgrade the... Uh, the weapon as the next thing. Shit. I'm gonna upgrade the weapon as the next thing, but after that, the third item that I should try to upgrade is definitely the armor. Definitely the armor needs to be the third thing to upgrade. Shit! 
Oh, I was paying it. I was not paying attention. Oh, it cost me like a lot of items right now. Shit. Okay, can you roll towards me? Oh my god, why you have to be so bloody as annoying? Look, I'm barely doing any damage to him. Like, if he could drop into the hole, that'd be so nice of him. Ow! Son of a bitch. Lost another potion. Ugh, this is... Seriously? Oh! <laughs> my list of the most annoying enemies in the entire game is growing. Like a lot. Ow! <laughs> From every possible enemy's deaths, you've picked the most annoying ones, didn't you? Not the hard ones, just annoying ones. Oh my f Die already! Oh shit! <laughs> okay, that sounds funny. The fuck was that supposed to be? Huh? Oh my god. Finally, Jesus, thank Christ, that took ages to kill. And I was like the most basic enemy. There you go, now we are talking. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Let's send some items back home. Right. Okay, I'm feeling I'm gonna send this thing home. Whatever that thing was. Bye bye. Okay. Now, grab this thing, put it here. I think the mushrooms are not worth much because you can stack them to six. So, basically, the concept in the game is the more you can put items in a stack, the less worth it is. So, we're gonna use this thing and transmute it from uh, to this. Okay, there we go. Right. Now, this thing. Okay, have an idea. I have an idea how we can save some space. What the heck? Oh, by mistake, I screwed up. Well, actually, since it's not bad, I can just uncourse a few items if you think about that. Okay, let's see. C can this glass thingy stack actually together? Like, how many items you can put in a stack of this? Dimensional resistant glass. Okay, I can only put five. That's good to know, I guess. Alright, so this thing goes here. And then move this item next to the right side because it has to be to the side. Then those things go inside and... Hold on a second, I'm not done. We need to grab this item and put it somewhere. Hmm, they have... I don't have space in my potion inventory either. Uh, you know what, screw this fucking spear. Screw it, screw it, screw it. I'm gonna probably fall back sooner either way. All right. Okay. Right. The annoying enemy and not so annoying enemy. Come on, fly towards me, boy. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and wait for you to die. And after that, I'm gonna take care of your friend. Oh, there you go. That was actually quite fast. Ah! Aha! All right. Wait for him to attack. Come on. Ow. Uh, this that solves my inventory problem. Son of a bitch. That's a lot of enemies over here. Oh shit! A lot of shooting enemies at this. I have to admit, the devs make a lot of good job when combining the enemies together. Really fucking annoying combinations. Ow! Son of a... Ugh. Yeah, now I have to chase this fucking lunatic. Okay. Please tell me you actually have something that's gonna be worth of my time. Um, yeah, you do, but... Destroy this one artifact course. Okay. Alright, I have to combine this thing with the glass. So grab those items. And we need to make some space again. So basically, this is how it goes. So this item over here, like you have this 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 uh, red thingy over here, like that's a cursed item. So basically, if you're gonna put an item in this red square over here, then because of this course, this item will destroy the course that this item has in the circle. So there you go, close this right, and now I can combine it with this thing. Um, okay, I don't think I have anything else useful, so just grab this thing here, put this thing here. Uh, right, those two things go around. Okay, the worst part is that I'm running out of potions, and I still haven't found the item I need to upgrade my weapon. Yeah, basically out of potions. So the problem is that if I'm gonna move to the next room, I won't be able to, te to teleport out. So we have to teleport now. 
Because I'm gonna lose my currencies. Shit. That's not good. But okay, whatever. I'm not gonna risk. I'm not going to risk. Yeah, see? I lost all of my currency. Like the additional one. Ah, oh, crap. But still we've managed to get to the fourth level. If I would get uh, the, pl uh, the f bloody ass plating and upgrade my weapon, then it's gonna be even easier. Now look and behold, what was that? And I have teleported back. It's not this thing. I teleported something back, but I don't know what. Uh, I think it was this thing. Yep, that was definitely the item I have teleported. Oh, well, okay, that's good. Worst part is the armor also requires this plain thing that I have. The boots require some crap completely, I believe. Composite armor boots. Yeah, those are the... <laughs> I have to pay half a million for a pair of boots. What is this thing, Nike? I hope not. Okay, uh, what about swords? Oh, okay, so I see you use some of those items actually to get yourself swords. Yeah, but still, like, this is 400, 4,000, yeah, this is the output is the same. The only other item I would maybe consider in this game right now is the bow. Like, maybe the bow could be, like, possible. What the fuck is this guy? Hello. I'm delighted to see you again, Mr. Will. Have you reconsidered my offer? Oh, yeah, he can actually open you a shop of the, of the space guard, or whatever those guys are. How much is this thing? 40,000. Yeah, sure. Fantastic! You won't be disappointed, I promise. Our representative will open a little stand in Ryoka. Make sure to pay him a visit! Yeah, I hope you didn't scam me because you guys... Like, the only thing you're doing is constantly scamming people around. Yeah, definitely cannot... Get a new guy. Okay, so apparently the representative of the Space Guard or whatever those guys are will open up... A stand here and you'll be able to buy items from him. So, to my understanding, like, from the blacksmith you're supposed to get items that will help you through the first part of the dungeon. And then the guy from the space guard is supposed to give you, like, the top end items. Maybe for the final boss, I think. And if anybody is wondering how the fuck I've managed to get so much cash... Oh! Lovely! The guy I actually need. If you actually, like, wonder how much... Uh, how, uh, how I've managed to get so much cash... Basically, I took a trip back to the old dungeons. <laughs> so I face rolled through them. I got a bunch of items and he did not drop me the thing I need. I got a bunch of items that I sold and I got like a a little bit of a money back. So yeah, I think I've made like uh oh shit, not the stupid plant again. I think I've made like around uh how did you manage to take the item from me? I think I've managed to earn like around two million or something like that on my first trip through the one of the older dungeons. So that gives you basically an idea how much items I've sold. <laughs> a lot. Who the fuck is this guy? Jira Lats Color, this town still uses dead organic matter for housing. Oh, what do you want, top four? Who am I? Just a discontent sharp cloth wondering why is he here. The watchers shipped me to this backwater town to rep that represented the ICT. The Interdimensional Comets Treaty. Yeah, if you saw one wears. Is this the process of allowing interdimensional trade and travel? We can't open the dimensional lines till that portal is closed, though. So for now, I'm here to begin the Hegel Initiative. To receive new artifacts, you must offer artifacts of equal value. I will then decide if the trade is worth. So please stop wasting my time, put something up, or leave be. Oh. Oh. Okay, I understand this thing. So basically this guy can give you... You can trade useless items for something more important that actually you can use to craft better equipment. Because if I remember correctly, this thing is used to... Uh, I think this is the fourth tier of the spear on five possible. I got one item by mistake because like one guy showed up at the shop and he offered me some... Uh, he, offer he offered me the feather for some crap items. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Take it from me. I don't really care. I defeated the tank enemy, so I got myself uh, the plating that I need. The chessboard thingy. So I'll be able to get myself the next level of spear. This guy with the sword, he's like from the first dungeon. I remember him. One of the first episodes with this guy. Let me just put it this way. 
He went to the gym, right? Now he has like a fucking truck. That is carbon fiber plate. Chessboard, either way. Oh, okay, we've seen this thing already. Uh, so, yeah, now we should be able to get the next level of this spear. So that means I have to collect more of those in order to upgrade my uh, my armor. What the fuck? One of the guys disappeared, I don't know why. <laughs> should I be terrified? Oh, golden chest. Hell yeah, baby. Give me the golden chest. The golden chest is awesome. Come on. Yes. Yep. Let's make just a quick work of this. Bye. Okay, give me something cool. Yay! I was like wondering why the fuck this thing didn't open. Ow! Oh no, I'm mimic. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Ow! Son of a bitch. There you go. Hmm. Well, he dropped me a few items. What's this? Use. Hyper potion? No idea what that thing is for. Uh, worst part is that I still don't have more plating. We need to get more plating. Uh, and with the plating I'll be able to get better items. Problem is that the game is not generous with the platings. Ow! Son of a... Ugh. The number of annoying enemies in this game is just ridiculous. Hmm, I think this is the... Third one? Scavenging log 10. Oh, a penty. Okay, so this, this doesn't matter on which level you're gonna find this guy. You just have to check it either way to find out exactly what's happening over here. Okay, just try not to get. Ah! I can choose my way. <laughs> Stupid plant. So far, so good. It's progressing. Oh, hello, guys. Uh. Right, I don't think I have anything for you, and you don't have anything for me. Also, I got myself an egg. Golem turret egg. So you can put this thing behind your house, and I'm not exactly sure what this thing is supposed to give you. Right, let's get one potion. Uh, okay, so we're gonna fight, fight a boss? <laughs> yeah. Again, this guy! Okay, so let's see this time. Scavenger log 13. Circumstances are looking dire. Not good at all. I cannot wait on this position any longer. Today I find my way back. Our original bodies were made for swimming through the dimension fluid after all. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think I know how that thing ended. Okay, avoid this guy. Nope. Ow. You serious about this? Ow. 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 How much do I hate this guy? Who is this guy? Yo, Kratos! Chill! Ow! Oh, okay, that actually went... Oh, I think he dropped me in an egg. <laughs> Good, you become a pet from now on. <laughs> you pathetic weakling. Uh... Yep. Yep. Haha, <laughs> you've missed. Okay, uh, give me those items. Right, let's see what's in the chest. A bunch of items that I don't know how to fucking use. Oh, I forgot I got this thing. Okay, throw it into the thingy because I won't be using that thing, that's for sure. Uh, okay, this item can destroy a curse. Okay, okay, let me see. Let me see, is there like anything worth of destroying right now? Okay, let's, let's see what's underneath those things. And the winner is... Woo, this is actually quite good. Okay, put it over there. Uh... Put this thing there and this thing here. Okay, there we go. Right, I think I grabbed all the items. Oh wait, we also have to pick up this thing. Hold on a second. So this. And the winner is... Who's this thing? Yeah, Spike Chain Egg. Just as expected, he will become my pet. I could try to return or we can try to continue deeper into the dungeon. So let's see how much I can push this thing. I still have six potions. So, I should be able to actually get something cool, right? Alright. Wandering Dungeon, level 4. Okay, and I already know this is gonna be a pain in ass to defeat. Hey! <laughs> one shot, one kill! Uh-oh. It's not gonna be so easy with this guy. No, seriously. I didn't know if this was supposed to go this way. Or was I, like, really lucky with the, with the ring? 
I mean, you're not gonna tell me that you just get this thing every single fucking time. Because that would be just like ridiculous. Okay, this thing is dead. I right, grab this thing. Oh, this thing didn't open. Oh, come on, really? It bugged. This uh, animation of attack over there. Son of a bitch. No! <laughs> I want to, to progress, but I can't because the game bugged. And I can't even use this thing to teleport out. No! Son of a bitch. Oh well. Let's go back home, Ben. Lose all of my currency again. Okay, let's see. Uh, can I upgrade now the spear? Right. I got this level. Okay. So upgrade this. There we go. Okay, so, so for the... I basically need the platings. Oh no, the feathers for level 5. Oh, okay, interesting. Right, so we went from 960 to 1400 damage at the moment. Hmm, I don't know what this item is. I'm guessing this is gonna be like deeper in, into the dungeon. But... I kinda like wonder can I get it from this trader over here. Like if I'm gonna be lucky. Yo, dude! Hmm... I think it's this thing. I can actually buy those items. Using the currency from the other dungeons. Okay, that's not bad. So, if I do this thing right, I should... Okay, I need more plating to get this thing, and then I need to get a few more platings to get this thing. And I can get the two remaining items from the new trade there, and we can get this thing. Because for sure this is exactly the item I need. Like, it has the same shape. So, let's see. Uh, right, I need to buy two from you. Uh, accept? Actually, hold on a second. Can I give you less? I want to give you ten. How about that? Yeah, he still accepted. Great. So we got those. And if I was right, then that means the blacksmith... Yep, yeah, that's exactly the item I needed. So I just need to find the playthings and I'll be able to get uh, level 4. And I just need to get one more fet and I'll be able to get level 5 right off the bat. So... The problem with weapon will be solved immediately. But so ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode as it's over here. Uh, we've went right into the dungeon, we've managed to upgrade the weapon, we've managed to actually see that the weapon is way more efficient when it comes to the older weapons. So yeah, right now it's just all about, you know, selling things, uh, getting more money, upgrading the weaponry, stuff like that. Technically, you could try to go to the weaker dungeons if you have difficulties with the newest one. Farm some items, ex exchange it with the new trader, and then just upgrade yourself the equipment like the proper way. So I think that that could be like one of the ways to actually do this thing. Um, like still you have to find out the perfect prices for all of the items, but to be honest it's just like, you know, like trial and error, I guess. You put the items on the cell, you just overprice it to the mother of limits. It, and then you just adjust it accordingly, so it's like, will the people buy it or not, like, as you can see. <laughs> some of the people are, like, really annoyed with my prices, but then after, like, I adjust the prices, they, like, get a bit happier either way. Uh, yeah, so as you can see over here, 18,000 for this thing is completely over the limit for them. But if I'm gonna ask, let's say, for 15,000, would that feel like a... would that be a better price for you? And also about this bone... Let's ask for 14,000 per bone and see how this thing is gonna go. So yeah, it's all about trial and error, uh, getting better equipment. Also, I have a bloody ass crocodile in my shop right now. Who is he? <laughs> and why is he here? And this guy can actually give me something. Nah, I'm fine, mute. Thank you very bloody ass much. So yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my equipment and maybe later on I will continue uh, with the story. Maybe actually I'll be able to get to the final boss. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna happen. Then the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. Episode in the next video.